Okay, this is a Kenwood uh, TS700 SP on the bench. Um, it's a excellent radio from the late 1970s, early 80s. Um, I've owned it since new. It's in excellent condition. Only had a few faults over the years. Uh, the uh, most serious was a uh, VFO issue um, quite some time ago. Uh, also the uh, incandescent globe blue behind the uh, um, power meter that's been replaced with an LED. Uh, probably the only work that's ever been done on this radio. Uh, it has actually developed a fault in recent uh, time where it actually sounds like it's receiving. Now, we've got nice white noise there. Switch around the mode positions, it sounds alive, but it's actually not detecting any RF uh, from the outside world. Um, the transmit uh, is in fact working. Uh, there we have it at 1 watt, so we can see uh, we're producing RF at 1 watt uh, on the frequency that we would expect. Um, the high range, only 10 watts for this unit, but uh, there, it, there we have it. And um, so the problem is clearly with the receiver. Um, Okay, let's hope this is clear enough. We've uh, got a um, single line diagram of the radio here. And uh, what I've done is uh, gone through, uh, we'll just kill that noise for the moment. Uh, we've gone through all the different uh, segments of the radio. So, uh, based on the um, display is working, the power supply is obviously working, the transmit side of things working, gone through every module that's common um, to the receive and transmit side of things or transmit only and with um, circle them in green and tick them off they're okay so we go through all the uh, stages um, where this could potentially be a problem uh, most of these stages are, are common to both transmit and receive and as the transmit is uh, working uh, perfectly fine uh, we really limit it down to the core receive only functions and that really brings us down to the uh, uh, RX unit um, circled in red um, because it sounds like it's working um, I'm thinking that maybe the IF's working the uh, plan is to uh, inject a um, 10.7 meg um, signal into the um, MC F mixer uh, and uh, see if we get a signal and uh, that will split this into you know working and uh, potentially where the fault is uh, so that's what we're going to do first uh, we'll uh, inject a 10.7 uh, meg uh, signal into the uh, IF chain got to take all the screws out <laughs> Okay, quick uh, peek inside the radio. Um, very tightly packed radio. Uh, the VFO here, the RX board that we're after is uh, buried down here. Um, we've got the um, FM IF board on top, uh, so that will have to be moved out of the way to uh, get to the uh, section of the um, RX board that we uh, need to. Uh, so it's, uh, I think, somewhere around here. All right, the uh, screwdriver out. Okay, this is the uh, mixer FET here. This is where I believe the problem is. So uh, the plan is to inject a signal into the um, output of the FET uh, and uh, see if we can inject a signal into the um, IF strip at 10.7 uh, megahertz.
Okay. Hundred kilohertz. And the amplitude will be set. Yeah, as low well as possible, but uh, two microvolts peak to peak. Oops, the uh, reference uh, the probe down to uh, ten. If we touch the top of this FET, which is actually the source of the FET, we get a tone. That tone is actually now indicating that the IF strip is probably fairly good. So putting the probe onto the drain of the fit. Okay, um, while we're poking around in here, all of a sudden the uh, radio appeared to have come to life. And I haven't been able to, uh, it's clearly an intermittent fault, but I haven't been able to get it to uh, reappear. I believe that it's this uh, post here. I think that's where the uh, 133 meg uh, signal goes into the mixer. Um, it doesn't seem to be, uh, I'll just turn the radio off. Uh, I'm almost tempted to put a bit of solder on it, but I'm not totally convinced that uh, uh, a little bit of an intermittent on the relay there. That could be the source of the problem. All right, let's have a look at the uh, see if we can get access to the relay. Okay, just uh, using too much force. Just remove the relay cover. Okay, this relay is. Um, For the um, RF amplifier, switching it in and out. Um, you know, it's interesting. It is part of the it's part of the board that we uh, suspected would be the problem. It is probably not there that I was thinking, but um, that would make sense if we've got uh, bad contacts there. Uh, that's why we're not receiving. Just uh, uh, okay, we're switching in the OK. 
a slight bit of paper with uh, some contact clear on it. I'm just giving the uh, contacts a little bit of a rub. Maybe. Okay, well this has all been a very interesting turn up uh, from where I originally expected to see the problem. Um, uh, so it's, it, it is uh, all in this relay here. Um, in fact, this has been quite successful because we've now got the um, DX amplifier working as well. Um, which was a known problem um, down the uh, list of things to do. I'll just give that relay a bit more of a work, but uh, um, put the cap on. So uh, yeah, re the relay for the um, uh, DX amplifier is uh, in fact the problem. Um, dry joints. Uh, in fact, uh, interestingly, the problem with the VFO originally was a uh, dry joint on the um, um, sweeper contact, uh, a little bit of uh, contact cleaner and uh, worked it and uh, the VFO came good so it was also a good fix. Uh, it looks like dry joints are a feature of this radio and its age. Okay, the radio is uh, back together again. Um, just a, so there we are, we've got the um, RXDX relay, which turned out to be the problem. Um, in the DX position, which is a little bit of uh, a low noise amplifier gets switched in, uh, hadn't been working for some years. Um, I'd, I'd kind of written it off as not probably being all that useful. Um, uh, and not realising that's actually a fairly simple um, fix is, uh, in terms of the relay. Um, I rather thought it was the uh, amplifier that itself that had uh, gone faulty and not worth repairing. But uh, So we've got that back. As you can see, it does pick up the noise floor a little bit. Alright, we'll uh, switch to uh, FM. See if there's anything on the local repeater. <laughs> 